check it out. It's a local company, bro. Zoo's Bikes. Today we're gonna do a pretty much a full throttle range test with the Zoo's 750. I'm currently in South Fort Worth, about 14 miles from the Zoo's warehouse. I'm gonna take this thing on some back roads, country roads. Actually, I don't even know this non-highway route at all. And we're gonna go full throttle the whole time. Risky, full throttle to the max. The only time I'll come off the throttle is if I have to. If I have to stop at a light, if I find a cool spot that we can shred on the Zoo's bike, or you know, if the cops stop me or something like that. Full throttle, 14 miles straight. Yep, let's hit it. The GPS says that I got 26 minutes, no highways, no tolls, 13 miles. Keep in mind, the top max speed on the Zoos is about 26, 27 miles an hour. So I feel like it'll probably take me about 35, 40 minutes to get there. Cool thing about where I'm at right here in South Fort Worth is that it's a suburban rural area. So you'll see a lot of backcountry roads and maybe some scenery on this trip versus if I was in the city, which I do plan on doing a bunch of city videos, taking the bike up to the city and showing y'all different areas of Fort Worth and Dallas. All right, right now I'm on pedal assist four, about 16 miles an hour i'm gonna put my phone up now that i kind of see where it's direction i'm going all right currently 24 25 26 27 miles an hour i've been looking up a bunch of different ways and mods to set the camera up with the mic with the wind you know the best angle i have a shoulder mount right now kind of similar to the chest mount but just a little bit over to the right and i don't know how it really affects the shot y'all have to let me know what y'all think hopefully y'all can pick up my voice quality pretty good right now while i'm going full throttle if y'all can pick up my voice right now at 27 miles an hour while the wind is blowing then that means that we did good with our little mod oh our little mic mod i'll have to show y'all what i have going on now i said full throttle the only reason i had to stop my throttle there is because this porsche i'm about to pass this porsche up somebody's calling my phone this is a full throttle range test so no stop signs oh yeah we're hitting about 28 right now on the downhill cool thing about the zoo's e-bike is that not only is it like stylish a lot of people look at it it really attracts people's attention with the color with how fast i go earlier today i met uh john hill the skateboard youtuber the first thing he did was ask me about the zoo's bike i think we got to talk to zoo's today about getting john hill a bike Okay, so this is an urban full throttle range test. So the goal is to not stop at any light, full throttle. Thankfully that light just changed. Full throttle, y'all. Full throttle range test, so. I couldn't afford to get caught at the light up here. I had to go super fast, cross the street, and get to the other side of the sidewalk up here. Because as you can see, there's lots of traffic right there. Even on this uphill, I'm still hitting a good solid 24, 
25. The cool thing about doing these little moto vlogs and these adventures is I'm actually exploring some parts of town that I've never been to. I've never been past this stoplight up here on Brian Irvin. Interesting for me too to explore and see a lot more. And keep in mind, y'all, I'm still going full throttle right now. 24, 25. I've only came off the throttle a couple of times when I had to, and now I'm on a do not pass country road. So it's about to get crazy. That's why I love Texas though. Those nice people were waving at me. before never been on this side of town still going full throttle kind of scary ah. oh shit i had to get off the full throttle right there but also let me just go ahead and say how much i love the mouthpiece bike mount it just gives me the most versatility i don't even like this shoulder mount it's all right but i don't like it as much Okay, y'all, I did off the throttle, but check this out. Forgive me, yo. I had to stop the full throttle for that. Y'all know that was worth the stop in the full throttle. Back to full throttle. We got supposedly like 12 more minutes left on the GPS, but since I've left the house, it's added six minutes. So I feel like it'll probably be another 18 minutes before I get to the warehouse. See you in a second. So yeah, I've probably been going full throttle for about 15 minutes. The battery life is still freaking great. I only one bar down.
highway shred kind of scared me. I wasn't expecting to have to get on the actual highway turnaround. And now I'm on the frontage road, but I mean, hey, we're making it. I forgot that there is a detour in the map I was supposed to take, but whatever. We made it. hope that I can get out of this parking a lot up here. Sheesh! Should have stayed in the mouthpiece for that one. Hey. Yo, come, come here. Let me see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The GoPro has been running for 42 minutes. 10 or 11 minutes of that was me cruising through the neighborhood giving y'all intro. I full throttled for basically 35 minutes, 14 miles, and I was at full charge. And now I'm down to two bars. That should give you a little bit of insight about the full throttle range test for the 750. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised that it's down to two bars. 27 miles an hour for 14 minutes straight. Saw what I was just uh, going through, like the crazy back roads, crazy winds. Saw me mobbing up and down all like the crazy like banks, like doing all that extra off-roading and enduro stuff can definitely also add to why the battery life was taking so much. Now, if you're an everyday commuter and you're gonna ride this bike, 35 minutes, 45 minutes of riding, full throttle, 26 miles an hour, still have two bars of battery life. I think you'll be very satisfied with this. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like I said, a little bit surprised, not that surprised. Uh, full throttle, full throttle, range test complete. We made it to the zoo's warehouse. But my favorite angle is right here. Yeah, Bro, he doesn't. That helmet shit, right? The first person. The old school, yeah. He That's it. Right there. Do, I didn't know you did that. Anywhere you look. I saw that. That love that shit. And I was hey, sitting there hey, looking at hey. it. And I'm like, man, that dog's like sitting on a ledge, you know? Right. Let's plug it in. He's right. leaning on me. He's yeah. leaning hard. You feel me? What's up, Chris? What? What? What's going on, brother? My, my hands are wet. You were Ew. waiting for that. <laughs> this guy, no. <laughs> the man behind it all right here. Feel the feel? Chris. Ew. There we go. Now we're talking. Once upon a time, we had the plan to uh, do some sonic branding. Your logo and a video or something doesn't make a noise. People associate that noise with your name. And so we were considering doing some sonic brand cameo. The service cameo came out. You have like famous people that are recording yes. something like a yeah. reel or something customized. Mike Tyson was available. We just want nice. you to say the word Zoo. And so when the title thing comes up, it just goes Zoo. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I know y'all got that clip. This shit's so slippery right here, I slid out. This is what it is. Yo, what up, bro? Hey, thanks, bro. It's uh, Yo, check it out, it's a local company, bro. Zoo's Bikes. Bro, craziest e-bike, Robin mobbing all around the city on this thing. Yeah, take care, boss. Yep. Yo. Everybody loves the Zeus bike, man. I wasn't gonna stop. Say I wasn't gonna stop.
mentality, I think that was a pretty accurate depiction of how a uh, full throttle range would go. I don't think any normal commuter out there, any of y'all out there will go full throttle on a Zeus for 15 miles straight non-stop. If I can make that trip in like 40, 30, 40 minutes, you know, non-stop, then any normal everyday commuter will be able to make it anywhere they need to go at a normal pace, stopping and going at red light, going with traffic. With that being said, uh, I think that the range on the Zeus is freaking phenomenal. At this point, Zeus is transportation, kind of a car replacement. I'm not gonna lie. Charge it up overnight, you can really make it wherever you want to go in the city and back that day, especially if you take like, an extra battery pack with you or a charger with you. What's up, mosquitoes? Get out of my face. If you have the charger with you, good to go. Extra battery pack with you, good to go. I don't got much more to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be coming with lots more e-bike content. I'm gonna pull back up to the warehouse and grab the Zeus 1100 engine uh, tomorrow or the next day. And that one, way more range, way more speed. It's only gonna get uphill from here, baby. I'm gonna blow my nose. Peace.